Hi guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HEB coach. In today's activity, we're going to be creating our very own sensory bags. The only materials you'll need for this activity is a Ziploc bag, sheets of paper, and a small bead. I'm going to be creating different mazes on the sheets of paper to put in our sensory bags. All right, I've made my first maze and I've made it with thick Sharpie so that they can clearly see it through the bag. So now it's time to put it in the Ziploc bag. All right, after putting my maze in the Ziploc bag, before we zip it up, we have to make sure we put the bead in. Now that we have our bead in, we have to make sure we tape the top part of the Ziploc bag and the bottom so it doesn't move around when we're doing our maze. All right, after I've taped both sides of our Ziploc bag, it's ready to try out our maze. So you're gonna move your ball or your bead all the way up to the starting position. So we start and we're going to, for the first one, it's a little bit easier. We're going to just follow the lines until we get to the middle, which is the end. And there we have it, we finished. For the next one, we're gonna make the maze a little bit harder this time. All right, after we finish creating our maze, it's time to do the same thing and put it in the Ziploc bag. Make sure you zip it up and make sure the tape is down good. All right, everything's sealed together. It's time to start our maze. So let's start up at the top. Here we go. What you can have your child do for fun to try something different is to have them use different fingers, like switch on so they get all of that hand-eye coordination and that hands-on. And there we have it. All right, this time we're gonna change it up. We're going to now have the paper on the outside under the bag, and we're going to tape it over. And what we're gonna now do is fill up the bag with some hand sanitizer. So you can use hand sanitizer or you can use hair gel. It'll work the same way. And this will be great for your children's fine motor skills. So the first time we did it with this maze, we only had the bead in the Ziploc bag and nothing else in the inside. Now that we have our hand sanitizer in there, it's very smooth and gel-like, so it's a lot easier for this to move. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same exact maze, but this time we're gonna have the gel in here. So you'll see it's a lot easier for the bead to move, we're gonna do the same This is great for problem solving and fine motor skills for your child. And there it is. All right, we're gonna try the same thing with the other maze and see how much easier it is 
it is a lot smoother when you add in either hand sanitizer or hair gel. There we have it. This is a great sensory activity that has to do with the sense of touch. You can then save this bag and use it for anything. You could put any type of paper behind this if you want to do dot to dots with your child or tracing numbers or letters. I've just used mazes because I think it's great for problem solving.